ECHO provides multicultural programming and services to keep you healthy, safe, engaged, and ready. Hello, my name is Sherry Fox. We often hear about the dangers of natural disasters like storms and tornadoes and how to stay safe when disasters happen. But our public health experts are also ready for other disasters, including bioterrorism and the release of a deadly germ called anthrax. In the case of an anthrax attack, it's important for people exposed to get medicine quickly. If you are watching this video, you may have already learned that you need to take medicine and you need to prepare it for children or adult family members who cannot swallow pills. To keep families safe, our public health departments are distributing medicines that could prevent illness and death. One of these medicines is doxycycline. You probably already have the medicine that is right for you. I will show you how to prepare doxycycline for your children. It's not hard, but it is important to mix it correctly. If you are given a different medicine, you will get written instructions to go with them. To get started, there are some basic supplies you will need. You may already have most of them in your own kitchen. A metal teaspoon. It is best to use a measuring teaspoon made for cooking. If you don't have one, you can use this size spoon. You will use the same size spoon through this entire process. Two small bowls, or one small bowl and one glass if mixing the medicine with a liquid. Clean water. To help hide the bitter taste of the medicine, you can use milk, chocolate milk, chocolate pudding, or apple juice. If you don't have any of these, you could also use applesauce, jelly, or another food. And of course, the doxycycline medicine. The first step is to crush the pill in water. Start by putting one doxycycline pill in one of the small bowls. Carefully measure and add four full teaspoons of water to that bowl. Let the pill soak in the water for five minutes. After five minutes, use the back of your metal teaspoon to crush the pill until you can't see any more pieces. Stir it up well. Now that you have made the doxycycline medicine mixture, you need to know how much of it to give to your child. The right amount is determined by your child's weight. If you're not sure how much your child weighs and do not have a scale, you can use this chart to determine their average weight by age. On the instructions you should have received, you will see a chart like this. Find your child's weight on the left-hand side to the right is the amount of medicine mixture your child should get. For example, if your child weighs 27 pounds, the chart says the right dose is one and one half teaspoons. But don't give it to them yet. We need to mix it with some sweet foods to help hide the taste. Using the same size teaspoon, Stir up the medicine again and then carefully measure the correct amount from the mixture bowl and put it in the second bowl or glass if you're mixing it with a liquid. For our example, one and one half teaspoons. It's important to carefully measure the right amount of medicine. Now add three teaspoons of your choice of milk, chocolate milk, chocolate pudding, or apple juice to the second bowl or glass. And if you choose apple juice, also add four teaspoons of sugar. Stir it well to mix everything together. Remember, everything in the second bowl or glass is one dose, so make sure your child eats or drinks at all. Each child needs to take his or her own sized dose twice a day, one dose in the morning and one dose at night. If you have enough of the mixture in the first bowl for another dose, just cover the bowl and store it until then. Label what it is and the date it was made. If you don't use it up within 24 hours, throw it away and make a new mixture for the next dose. Remember, emergency medicines will come with directions to be sure your children receive the right dose. Follow the instructions that come with your medicine, 
about how many days to take it and the right dose for each member of your family. Public health departments work hard to keep everyone healthy and safe when disaster strikes. We can do our part by following these important instructions. Thanks for watching.